you, wonderful and beautiful people, are on the 21st episode of this series, my playthrough of Lost Judgment, and I think it's safe to say that you've probably been watching since the beginning, and I think that means that you guys are liking the videos, so if you've been forgetting to leave a like on the videos, then I encourage you to do so if you do indeed like them. We are going into the finale today. We're starting that. The chapter is called Darkest Before the Dawn. Soma's ties to public security may lead to his undoing. By seizing the puppet himself, Yagami seeks to pull down the puppet master holding the strings. To do so, he forms a temporary alliance with the fugitive Kuana. Yeah, and then he almost blew me up. But Soma arrives to carve a bloody path into a hideaway no one should know about. Reiko Kusumoto's betrayal has proven more volatile than anyone could have guessed. Final chapter, Darkest Before the Dawn. Yenda sensei they're calling last night's bombing a terrorist attack. The body they recovered was burnt beyond recognition. That was a Kaikei-kun, right? The one Yagami mentioned? Yes, I believe so. Nothing about Soma or RK in the article either. Could public security be tampering with the press? I wouldn't give public security that much credit. Besides, if a bomb goes off in a deserted public place, it's only natural for the police to assume it's terrorism. Right, I guess when you put it that way. Unfortunately, even if they do identify a Kaikei-kun, the ones responsible are Kawana and Soma. Two guys who are totally off the grid. Any investigation would grind to a halt. Probably end up as another unsolved mystery. If the public learned the bombing was tied to Ihara's battery case, Jaws would hit the floor. Yeah. Anyway, where's Yagami? You heard from him since last night? No. We've been in touch via email, though. He's on his way to a hospital now. Great. What'd he get himself into now? If he's actually going to the hospital, does that mean it's serious? Don't worry, he's fine. He's just going to meet with someone about the case. Who'd want to meet up at a hospital? Reiko I can Kusumoto. think of who. Mm -hmm. Thirteen years. I still can't believe it. Waking up and finding out you're suddenly thirty. Take your time. You'll adjust eventually. Work again? I won't be long. I just need to take a quick meeting. Now put down that mirror already. <sighs> that would be so upsetting. Your body aged without you. Years of your life gone forever. So, you sold Kwan out to public security because Mitsuru kun woke up. Is that about sum it up? <sighs> you waited 13 years for Mitsuru kun to wake up. If you turn yourself in now, You'd lose him all over again. Mm -hmm. There's that. Yes. Going forward. He needs to stand on his own two feet. And rebuild his life. It'll take time. And lots of it. There's no real end in sight. 
he's at a disadvantage as it is. And to brand him the child of a murderer on top of that. I couldn't. Doesn't this change everything? I think you may want to reconsider what you told me, Kusumoro-san. Alone, I'm sure you could have lived with the weight of your choice. But... <laughs> now you have something you'd sacrifice everything to protect. Ah, he's kind he's of so gross. Precious, but he's also so fragile he can come crashing down without even a warning. You're going to have to be his shield, Kusumoro-san. We'll do it together. With your cooperation. <laughs> I have to do what I can to protect him. I suppose so, but... You covered up your crimes and it was Sawa-sensei who got caught in the crossfire. On top of that... Akaike-kun's throat was slit last night. Now he's dead, too. Kawano will be another body for the pile soon. Hell, maybe I'm in trouble myself. How was he yesterday? Well, as soon as RK showed up for him, he knew you'd stabbed him in the back. I can't really say how that made him feel. Until now, he'd been adamant about ensuring you stayed out of this. He said no one could blame you for what you did to Shinya Kawai. Kawana put his life on the line for you. You failed to silence him, and you let him get away. That means whatever happens next, it's his move. And whatever he does to you, none of my business. As for me, I have no evidence on Kawai's murder, so you're off my list too. I only came here today because I wanted to know why you betrayed Kuwana. That's all. I hope Mitsurakun has a speedy recovery. to come up with our plan of attack. I'll go hash it out with everyone at Yokohama 99. Okay, this is probably a very unpopular opinion and I might get some people angry when I say this, but I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like the constant like guilting over Sawa Sensei is getting a little bit aggravating to me. Like, I understand that he's he's telling this to two separate people, and I understand that there's like a need for him to repeat it to them over and over, but me as a player, as a someone who is watching this story, I'm just like, yeah, I, we get it. Like, Sawa Sensei, like, <laughs> instead of making it me feel like, I can get behind Yagami, like, more and more, and, um, you know, because it's like, oh, Sawa-sensei, we all love Sawa-sensei, right? I, it's just too much for me, you know? It, it just kind of cheapens it. it. It makes it feel like, I don't know, it just, yeah. <laughs> it's a meme. You remember seeing a picture titled Lost Judgment in a Nutshell and it was 
Yagami saying, nice argument, but Sawa Sensei. It's not an unpopular opinion. A lot of memes on Reddit about this. Okay, so <laughs> I, I didn't want to like get people upset like, oh, you don't care about Sawa Sensei and you, you know, things like that. But I mean, I do. And I was really upset when she died. And it's really unfortunate that she got caught up in all this. But again, they just kind of like keep pounding it, pounding it into my skull that it's like, enough already like i get it i get it i get it I get it and i don't really know if her dying would be enough to make these people like yeah i'm sure kuana and reika feel bad but at the end of the day what's happened has happened and they are only going to try to preserve their own self and protect themselves so I don't think that guilt would take them very far. So I'm also kind of thinking like Yagami, like they care, but like they don't care. They don't care enough about her. You need some better argument like to persuade them. So anyways, <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one. I was like, oh God, I'm going to piss off a lot of people with this. Back already, Yagamishi. How are you feeling after last night? That shockwave from the blast took you down. Oh, yeah. That was something else, I gotta say. <laughs> yeah, he was pretty, bet, tough guy. pretty right up in Kamurocho's there. Kamurocho's finest detective never fails to impress. Doc, you made it. We've been asking around if anyone's seen Kuana. You don't want to know how that went. No leads, huh? <laughs> pretty much. Doesn't help that Arkay is crawling all over the place right now. As soon as they spot Kuana, they're gonna make their move. Kuana gave this to me yesterday. Isn't that Toshiro Ehara? Kuana-san called you out there just to give you this? Yep. He told me to give it to Ahara. What the? Oh man, it looks like it's cracked. Can you take a look at it, Tsukumo? I get the feeling it's no ordinary pendant. Certainly. Not handing it over to Ahara till you know what the deal is? Well, he won't mind, will he? Besides, that damn near got blown up over that thing. Speaking of, Yagamishi, what's the status of Ahara's sexual battery trial? Saori-san's preparing for the appeal. Still no date, but the courts are working as fast as they can. If they accept the case and it goes to trial, they'll find out about Kawana one way or another. That it put Reiko Kusumoto in public security in the shithouse, right? Right. If Kawan and his murders come to light, anyone connected to Reiko Kusumoto could be suspected as an accomplice. And if that happens, she'd lose any control she had over the pension fund. Interesting. Everyone wants their own brand of justice to come out on top. But enough is enough. If we don't handle this, public security will take out Kawana. And I can't let him die like that. Then, what's your next move? Gonna head to Ahara's trial and back up Sari-san. <laughs> Feels like we've come full circle. I'd argue the opposite, Yagamishi. The circumstances surrounding the trial are completely different this time around. I can't help but consider how grand a task simply seeking the truth could be. Seriously. But exposing the truth is the only way to save some and get justice for others. We can't just stay quiet and watch. <laughs> Sounds like you're seeing the light. Detective work's not so bad, is it? <laughs> Can you guys keep an eye out for Kawana and Nijincho? I need to go over Ahara's case with Sari-san. 10-4. We'll amp up surveillance. We're going too, Sukiyura. Time to get shit done. <laughs> right on. Time to prep for Hara's appeal in Kamrojo. I can't let Sari-san do this alone. But first... My first errand. From Iko Manaka. My son wants to go out on his first errand on his own, but I'm so worried about what might happen to him. I'd follow him if I could, but he made it absolutely clear that I'm not allowed. 
If I do it anyway and he catches me, he might resent me for it. That's why I'd like you, the professional, professional tailor, to watch over him in my place. We can discuss the details over at Wet Kitchen if you're interested. My apologies if you're busy, but I do appreciate your considering this job. I guess we'll fight this guy. Come on. Or is that a smile burger? Let's do it. Oh, 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 I wanna do. I wanna do. Yes. Oh, let's see what this is. I think this is something new. What are you doing? What are we doing? Damn! Damn! Okay! What a waste. Wow. That was crazy. I think he's dead. <laughs> Might be. That's a possibility. Hello, I'm Yagami, here on the behalf of Yokohama 99. Ah, so you're the detective. Nice to meet you. I'm Manaka, the one who reached out to you. Pleasure is all mine. Now, if I remember right, you want someone to watch over your son while he's out on the town? Yes, that's correct. Our son, Toru, turned five just the other day. Ah, congratulations. Thank you. After a long debate with our son, we finally came to the agreement. When you turn five, you can go out on your own like a big boy. Yeah, five is not old enough for that. Well, maybe in Japan it's different, but like here in 2024, probably not. <laughs> Definitely not. Looks like our stalling tactics finally blown up in our faces. Sending him out already, huh? You sure do grow up fast. This is a big milestone for the little guy. It sure is. So my wife and I originally planned to watch from behind as he walked down the block on an errand, but our son's taken the terms of our agreement much more seriously. Mm -hmm. Meaning... He says if we follow him, he's not really out on his own. So if we follow him, he's going to get himself emancipated. He's five years old and using a word that I barely even know the meaning of myself? Mm. Oh, your son has quite the vocabulary. Where do they pick this stuff up, huh? Regardless, it's not an issue we want to press with him if he feels so strongly. But I'm sure you're aware of all the adults walking around here, let alone the traffic. I'm just too worried to let him go off on his own. We just moved to the city and we don't have any acquaintances here, so we figured we should ask a tailing professional. Please, sir, tail my son. I don't care what it costs. I just can't let him go unsupervised like that. My heart couldn't take it. I see. Oh, I wholly understand where you're coming from. I'll take the case, and I have enough experience with tailing that you won't have to worry about emancipation. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Here's a picture of Toru. Oh. Looks like one smart little guy. Thank you. And you don't know the half of it. But it was so quick on the uptake, it's scary. You're going to have to be real careful out there to avoid his suspicion. I see. Good to know, but please, don't worry. I promise he's in good hands. He'll have eyes on him and the entire time he's out on his own, and he won't even know it. Oh, well, isn't that good to hear? Kodu's ready to head out now, down Isazaki Road. His job's to buy some bread at Pocket Cafe. Then go right back home. In other words. So, he needs a tail from Isazaki Road to Pocket Cafe and back. Yes. When you're ready, I'll call my wife and she'll let Toru out of the house. Yagami-san, should I call my wife so my son can get ready for his errand? I'm ready. Yep. Yeah, I'm good to go. Got it. 
I'll make the call right now. Yes, it's me. Commence the operation. Indeed, everything's moving along exactly as conceived. Now we play the waiting game. I think I figured out where the kid got his vocabulary. Alright, Yagami-san. I should return home. I want to see Toru before he leaves so he knows I'm not tailing him. Best of luck in your endeavor. Yep. Right. Leave it to me. I'll keep you updated. Better get ready to tail this kid. <laughs> A pretty interesting gig you got there, Tak. Ah. Kaito-san, were you here this whole time? Well, die yourself. I only stopped in for a bite. Huh. Oh, what a coincidence. Yo. I think I'll join you on this case, if you don't mind. Huh? Really, Kaito-san? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good with kids. And I mean, all we're doing is tailing the little guy, right? Besides, watching kids do grown-up shit like errands is pretty amusing. I love when they do that kind of stuff on TV. Oh yeah, you and Higashi used to watch that one show back at the Matsugane family office all the time. Come on, let's bounce. Kaoru-chan's gonna be leaving soon. <sighs> yeah, it's Toru-kun. <laughs> what? Where'd he, where'd he get Kaoru? Man, I'm starting to get nervous. Nah. Yeah, why is that? <laughs> Come on, ain't this a big first step for the kid? All sorts of stuff could go wrong. He might get lost, he might trip and eat it. You see a kid come through the other end of something like that with a big grin? It's pretty great, you know? I better make sure I do a good job as guardian angel here. I guess so. Well, it's pretty much a straight beeline to the cafe from his place. I'm sure he'll be fine. Huh. Oh, there he is now. Big man, hitting the streets. <laughs> He's so determined. Let's get to work. Be careful here. I'm like, who's this creep? It's Kaito. He's looking to see if dad's following him. Checking out another window. This is gonna take forever. Where's Pocket Cafe at? close i know his dad warned us but this kid's got eyes like a hawk yeah where are we <laughs> what <laughs> yeah but it looks like we're not busted yet let's just keep after him yeah right and what are we gonna do about this <laughs> what does that say oh gosh hold on give me a few years to read this gien toru Gien... Is that right? Gien Toru... I don't know. Hmm. We're, uh... Well, hell. 
My damn noggin's stuck. How about you, Talk? Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm stuck too. And I've got the short one for kids. This is not good. Wait, these are for kids? No wonder I'm stuck. No, Kaito-san, yours is for an adult. This is one of those things for a parent and child to get pictures with together. Huh? Wait, the hell are you saying about the size of my head, Talk? Come on, we don't have have time to do a bit. We're gonna lose Totokun if we don't pick it up. Oh, right. Then what do we do about this? <sighs> Not much we can do. We liter have to literally pick it up and tail the kid. Guess we'll just have to try playing it cool if he busts us. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Don't jet ahead, Kaito-san. The idea is to not get spotted. No. We talk. If you don't pick up the pace, we're gonna lose him. And you're too fast, Kaito-san. Why can't you just slow down a bit? Talk. If you don't pick up the pace, we're... Hmm? Ah! Crap. Are we busted? Their faces, they're just like... Nice muscles. All oh, right. Gotta focus here. <sighs> that was close. What do you mean by muscles? Nah. It's me. Who knows what kind of shit's on the other side of this thing? <laughs> Hope it's nothing too weird. Now let's go before we lose him. Oh, gentle muscle. Gentle muscle too is what what's on there. Okay. Come on, Kaito-san, match my pace. You're gonna break my talk. If you don't pick up the pace, we're gonna lose him. And you're too fast, Kaito-san. Why can't you just slow down? Huh? Ah! Crap. Are we busted? Nice muscles. All oh, right, gotta focus here. What? <sighs> that was close. Wait, why is it? Re I'm, I'm feeling deja vu here. What do you mean by muscles? Nah. Who knows what shit's on the other side of this thing? Hope it's nothing too weird. Wonder if it's like randomized things and I just happen to get the same thing twice Talk. in a row. If you don't pick up the pace, we're gonna lose him. And you're too fast, Kaito-san. Why can't you just slow down? Huh? Are we busted? Nice muscles. Gotta focus here. <sighs> what do you mean by no. muscles? Beats me. I'm getting caught? Oh. What? I haven't been touching anything. I have not been touching the controller at all. Are they supposed to move on their own? Maybe I should be touching the controller. I'm not, I, I don't understand. Am I supposed to be stopping them from moving too fast? So what am I supposed to push? I pushed forward a few times. But why Damn would they it. move on their own? It's killing my back, talk. If you don't pick up the pace, we're gonna lose him. And you're too fast, Kaito-san. Why can't you just slow down? <sighs> yeah, I guess it's red light, green light, but I would assume that... I was too close, but hey, we pulled it off. Guess we blend into the background better than we thought. I guess if you do nothing, they move on their own not to lose him. Well, that's just weird. Hmm. I think. Excuse me, would you like me to take your picture? No. Oh, uh, no thanks. 
so much for blending in. Talk. If you don't pick up the pace, we're gonna lose him. And you're too fast, Kaito-san. Why can't you just slow down a bit? Wait, this is too hard. Maybe I just imagined it. This kid's dumb. Hmm. No. Talk. If you don't pick Wait, up the stop. pace, we're gonna lose him. And you're too fast, Kaito-san. Why can't you just slow down a bit? I'm really bad at this. Hmm. No. I'm really bad at this. I was Talk. confused at first. If you don't pick up the pace, we're gonna lose him. And you're too fast, Kaito-san. Why can't you just slow down a bit? I think we finally got the swing of this. I bet we'd crush it as partners on field day. Yeah, and if I had to do this for a field day, I'd drop out of school from the shame of it all. Hey, Talk. You got any of those numbing patches? At the office, yeah. I have the feeling we'll need every last box. Yeah. Okay, sorry. I didn't understand at first for the longest time. <laughs> Phew, we actually made it somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really made a good team there. The private eye gigs ever dry up. At least we know we can hack it as living billboards. Yeah, I think I'll try pivoting in a different direction. Looks like he got what he needed. Yep, should be smooth sailing from here. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Ah, that hurt. Jeez, you little shit. What? Now you have to go to the hospital? Kaito san. Right. Wait, are we in a fight like this? Oh, look what we have here. We'll just take this off your hands. Compensation, you know. Projection selections. Use left stick to decide how much emotion to project. The stronger your projection, the more spice will add to conversations. Will you decide to play it cool or heat things up? The choice is yours. Let's heat things up. Give them a dead-eyed stare. Give them an enlightened smile. Give them a de demonic grimace. What? What the hell's that? Oh God, Kaito! Oh shit! <laughs> Run for it! Huh? <laughs> hmm. Oh. Right, I need to go home. <laughs> Look at them. <laughs> Phew, at least that's over with. <sighs> yeah, but now we have to figure out what to do with ourselves. We've got to get this thing back where it belongs. What are we going to do? Guess we can head back to the office. Maybe Tsukumo can do something about it. <laughs> Man, their back's gonna be hurting so bad after this and their their neck. Mm. We're not getting this thing in the elevator. Yeah. Probably should have thought of that. <sighs> I can't really use my phone either. Stuck like this. Well, shit. Ah! Sagira to the rescue! <laughs> Don't tell me he's just gonna walk away. Yeah! Well, better go eat my ice cream before it melts. <laughs> what? What? 
Hey, give us a break here. <sighs> no, you give me a break. You're messing with me right now, right? Why are you even doing this? Sorry, we ran into a bit of trouble on a case. Could you help us figure out how to get out of this damn thing? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, maybe some soap would help. Let me go get some real quick. <laughs> He's just like, yeah, I'm not doing this. I'm gonna go eat my ice cream. <laughs> Ew. Thank God that's finally off. I'll go put this back. The sooner I never have to look at it again, the better. Yeah. I hear you there. Thanks, Kaito. Hello? Hello, this is Yagami. Hi, it's me, Manaka. Thank you for watching over my son today. He just got home, safe and sound. He's going a mile a minute telling us all about it. Uh, is that so? Glad to hear it. I'm also happy to report Totokun seemed to do a fine job in the cafe. Uh, just that much closer to all grown up. By the way, Yagami-san, you, are you aware of the animated sign on Isazaki Road? Huh? Hmm? Toru mentioned there's a funny face sign on Isazaki Road. He won't stop talking about it. He's trying to drag us over to go see it now. I was just curious if you happened to see it while you were out, just so we know where we're supposed to find it. Uh... Well, uh, I don't know anything about that. Sorry, I was just too focused on Totokun, I guess. <laughs> I see. Well, I'm sure we'll find, find it eventually. He's really over the moon about the thing. But anyway, thank you for today. I'd love to reach out to you again if something else comes up. Yep. Oh, thank you. Please feel free to call us anytime. Bye now. So, uh, Totokun wants to see the funny face sign again. <sighs> oh, come on. <laughs> Get your heads back in that thing. Hey, I got skill. Raptorial spirit has been learned. Raptorial spirit. That was good. <laughs> Time to prep for Hara's appeal in Kamurocho. I can't let Sarisan do this alone. Let's head to Genda Law Office. Okay. What's up, Zanzibar? You didn't miss anything? No, you really didn't miss too much. Yagami just went to talk to Reika Kusumoto, the the mother of the uh, the kid who woke up from his coma finally after 13 years or whatever. Well, looks like we've got a full house. Shirosaki sensei asked me to come by. She said they needed some business handle while you were out of town. I find it hard to believe she'd put it that way. <laughs> Maybe not. Either way, I don't mind helping. Yagami-san, you're just in time. I think we should conduct another interview with Ahara-san. Okay, but what will we talk about? If we want to claim he's innocent of battery, then we need to prove he's the one who murdered Mikoshiba at the same time. But since the murder footage isn't admissible in court, we need something more substantial. Right, the judge said they wouldn't allow internet videos of unknown origin in court. Basically, we need new evidence. And that might mean something no one's seen or found yet. So your plan is to meet with Ahara and just ask him? I know it's a long shot, but yes. I'd like to come help, but someone has to check Higashi-san's work. Excuse me? If I have to be Hoshino-kun's lackey, I'm fucking out. <laughs> I'd prefer if you address me as Hoshino-sensei. Mouth on this kid! Yara only seems to open up to you, Yagami-kun. So, if you talk to him again, do you think we'll find out something new this time? I'll see what I can get out of him. Having another chat with him couldn't hurt. Sounds good. Oh, and look after Salary for me, would you? 
Sure, but Mafuyu, should you even be here? Won't the prosecution think you're double-crossing them? What do you mean? I am just here to get dirt on the defense. Expect Prosecutor Takano to hear all about it. <laughs> Guess we better watch ourselves. I still have some preparations to make. Yagami-san, why don't you go kill some time? I'll call you as soon as I'm ready. It shouldn't take long. Sure thing. I'm going to try and get in touch with Ahara's wife. Even though they're separated, Ahara may have shared details about Mikoshiba's murder with her. Oh, and Higashi-san will be there to help. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'll call you once I'm ready. This may be our last meeting with Ahara-san before the appeal. Make it count, Yagami-san. Ahara's status as either a sex offender or a murderer is the court's focus right now. Opinion split between who thinks the Mikoshiba murder footage is authentic and who doesn't. So, oh, there's more people to talk to. Hold on. RK's still raising hell around the city. Bunch of ex-Tojo guys have been especially loud and proud. Just watch your back out there. Not that I don't think you can handle it. Aw, Higashi, you can be nice. Don't forget how much pressure's on salary right now. Ehara's trial has the police and prosecution on edge, so I'm sure it's a lot for salary to handle by herself. But I'll do whatever I can on my end. You're the best. I was gonna tell Hoshino he better watch out because Higashi's, uh, you know, getting in his territory on his girlfriend over here. But I was just kidding. But seeing the animosity between those two, I'm kind of thinking that there might be a thing there. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't blame both of them for wanting to, to get with her, you know? Wow, that was quick. Is that Saudi already? Sorry for keeping you, Yagami-san. We should head to the detention center. Where are you? Sorry for keeping come, me? Rocho. How about I take a cab and pick you up? If you please, I'll be waiting. I stepped one foot outside the office. <laughs> okay. All right, you guys ready to go to the de detention center? Let's go. Well, let's eat. How did I not see that green car coming? Jeez. Okay. Smile a burger. Sounds good to me. Let's get the legend smile set down. Let's get the teriyaki. Okay. We got a whole ass Starving. meal with a, with a shake. Or a smoothie. I think it's a shake. And then we got another burger now on the side. Now we're talking. Pretty Look tasty. Thanks. Disgusting. 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 Hi, Castle. Hi, Party. You're excited for the finale? I just, I'm so excited. I just jump into traffic. That's right. All right. To the Tokyo Detention Center. Let's talk to Ahara one more time. Isn't that just the worst? So the murder footage can't be used as evidence. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be played in court for all to see. Yeah, and if it was, it would prove your innocence and overturn your battery conviction no problem. But the prosecution flat out refuses to accept you murdered Mikoshiba. There's no room for error. You could flat out confess and they would refuse to accept it. Excellent. In the end, they'll lock me up for battery. And I'll get away with murder. Yeah, yeah. We know all about what you and Kiwana planned. We just don't have the evidence to prove it. <laughs> My condolences. This guy is so smug. Which reminds me. You said you'd confess to killing Mikoshiba after you got out of prison, right? Then, as icing on the cake, you'd admit the battery charge was false and humiliate the law for letting a murderer walk free. Exactly. The public must know that the law can't be trusted. Personally, I hope the media hops all over it. I bet you do. So when that time comes, you'll need some decisive evidence of the murder so your confession holds water. 
Maybe you've got something like that in your back pocket already? <laughs> Not bad a reaction from Ahara. Maybe there really is some hard evidence of Mikoshiba's murder? Because we'd sure look good if we had some new evidence to take into the appeal. That's why you geniuses came all the way out here. Well, thank you. I told you I wouldn't admit to the murder in court. I have no intention of just handing it over. Handing it over? So you're saying there is still a piece of evidence we don't know about? <laughs> What is it, Ahara-san? Even if there was, you'll never get your hands on it. Didn't mean to get your hopes up. What kind of material evidence, if there is any, could Ahara be hiding? He still has the murder weapon. He kept part of the corpse. He left a calling card on the body. What would he do? Would he keep a part of the corpse as a trophy? Would he still have the murder? I don't know why he would want to still have the murder weapon. Unless that's, unless he planned to use it at a later date. And that's why he kept it. He left a calling card on the body. Well, we didn't hear about anything suspicious being left on the body. And I'm sure the body... When do they dispose of the body? Would the body still be available to check afterwards? And if he left a calling card on the body, but he was going to confess after he got out for the the, the other charge, he could be in there for a long time. So if they discard the battery, the body, then that wouldn't work. I don't think that one makes sense to me that he left a calling card on the body because they would need the body to verify something that they didn't notice before and if it was something that they did notice then he could have somehow gotten a hold of the information and and then that it wouldn't be proof i don't think so i'm gonna say he kept a part of the corpse but they didn't mention that anything was missing but then again it could be something like some hair something that they wouldn't really notice was gone corpse was decomposed. I'm gonna say it kept part of the corpse. Maybe it's a piece of Mikoshiba's body. Would you hide something like that? Well, was he missing any body parts? No, nothing indicated as such. Maybe it wasn't a missing body part. Could be as simple as some hair. Me and Yagami, Even same brain. Even if it was, that would hardly constitute evidence of Mikoshiba's murder. I guess not. Hair could have come from anywhere or anyone. That's the extent of what you could prove. I suppose that's true. Yeah, because they can't 100% say that a piece of hair belongs to somebody with DNA, correct? They could say that the hair has similar properties to the victim's hair, but they can't say for sure 100% with science that that is someone's hair specifically. Right? I'm pretty sure that's the case. Alright. So then, murder weapon? The murder weapon. Kanagawa PD said the weapon used to kill Mikoshiba still hadn't been found. Yet it appears in the footage without a doubt as to what it is. A knife. If it wasn't found at the murder scene, it's highly likely the suspect or an accomplice took it with them. Any normal criminal would have just ditched it somewhere. Except you're anything but normal. You got revenge for your son, and you want to publicly humiliate the law for letting you pull it off. 
Your point. If you were clear to the battery charges and confessed to Mikoshiba's murder without evidence, no one would buy it. You'd need something convincing. Busting out the weapon no one's found yet would do the trick. That one piece of evidence would flip the whole case on its head. Well, look at you go. Then tell me, where do you surmise I've hidden this weapon? Up well, right after killing Mikoshiba and Ijinsho, you would have had to book it to Ikebukuro Station. You had accomplices with you. And if that's the case, there would have been plenty of time to hide the weapon. Yeah, so... That's about as far as I've thought this out. If that's it, then I'm done here. Kawana's vanished, Ahara-san. Public security found out about him. Public security? Kawana wanted me to tell you he won't make it to the end of your revenge plan. So, I'm the last man standing, am I? He's already helped me plenty. I never expected to see him again anyway. At this point, he won't be able to outrun them. If public security catches him, he'll get much worse than an unfair trial. Burying him will be the least they do. What do you mean? What's going on? You remember last time? If you don't recall, I said you'd grab the tiger by the tail. And your tiger is... public security. Right. And they're out there on the warpath. Everything has to be brought into the light. We need what you did to be exposed. Kawana can't be saved in any other way. I need your help, Harsan. Does it hard lose, care about Kawana, though? I'll never admit to killing Hiro Mikoshiba in court. The system can die. It threw Toshiro away. And I won't lift a finger to save it. Kawana-san knew how this could end. We have our convictions. When this started, we knew it could end up costing our lives. You knew going in, huh? And that's all? Is that what you tell yourself so you can sleep at night? Maybe it is. Yagami-san, do you remember my original request to look into both the Hara incidents? I asked you to look into the train event, and then I asked you to look into Hiro Mikoshiba's murder. And now, I'm afraid I have to make one more request of you. Do you still carry your defense attorney's lapel pin? Ehara-san's trial. I'd like you to take the floor with me to defend him. It's going to be eventful. I think we should go as a team. Damn. Poor Hoshino. You sure about that? <laughs> what, what happens to him? You know, my legal counsel isn't cheap. I'll let Genda Sensei know about the invoice. You got it. We're gonna put Count the badge me. back on? Let's go. You never know when something like this will happen. Check it out. I always have it on me. I know that. Huh? <laughs> you do? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is going to be good. We're going to get to see Yagami in court as the lawyer. I just saw the others are looking for Kuwana and Ijinsho. Is there anything left to do before I go back? Warning! Things are going to get pretty intense from here on out. So last call to wrap anything up before the finale. We have done all our wrapping up, ready to go.